Hi, my name is Dylan Ward, and in this video, I'm going to be networking four different virtual machines using VirtualBox. Now, to begin, we'll go to the VirtualBox manager, and if you check under the server settings and the network tab, I've set the adapter one to be host only, the VirtualBox host only Ethernet adapter, and for the promiscuous mode, we'll be allowing all. Now these settings are common to all four of the virtual machines I have here. And to begin we'll go to the Windows Server 2008. What you want to do is go to the Network and Sharing Center. Make sure your sharing and discovery is on, Network Discovery, File Sharing and Public Folder Sharing. You can take Password Protected Sharing off. And we go to manage network connections. And what you want to go is properties. Uh, disable the IPv6. Go to IPv4. And apply the following IP. 192.168.0.1 Default subnet mask. And those will be your settings for Windows Server. Now. For Windows Vista want to go to the network and sharing center as well make sure your network discovery file sharing and public folder sharing is on with the manager network connections properties disable ipv6 here as well and under your settings are ipv4 you want to use the following ip 192.168.0.2 default subnet mask gateway would be the IP of the server 192.168.0.1 and preferred DNS server would be the IP of the server as well 192.168.0.1 click OK let's close that off now what you want to do here in Windows Server is just to make sure that these computers are seeing each other there we go Vista and the server is on so now we go to the windows 7 i want to go to the network and sharing center here as well change advanced sharing settings make sure your network discovery file and printer sharing as well as your public folder sharing is on and disable the password now go to the adapter settings properties once again disable IPv6 and you go to the properties of IPv4 and we use the following IP 192.168.0.3 and the default gateway and the DNS server will be using the IP of server 2008 again 192.168.0.1 same here 192.168.0.1 and we click OK just make sure Windows 7 is showing up here before we continue there we go now we go to Windows XP our last operating system to configure we'll go to the control panel network and internet connections network connections go to the properties and for this one you'll just have the one option internet protocol go to the properties and you'll use the following IP 192.168.0.4 once again IP of the server 16801 192.168.0.1 and click OK now just to see if XP would connected just wait on it if it shows up just refresh one two three four and there we go all four systems communicating with each other across the network or any group and that would be the end of this tutorial